All right here, will you squeeze that in? Thanks for the rose. So let's see. Oh, I should probably not leave the sloth in here. We got a lot of questions on acoustics around this server as well. Oh, I almost put the fan in backwards. Which we will uh, find out a little more when we actually get around to booting this guy. But uh, I will say on uh, LinkedIn, there were some questions on that and Dell provided a uh, info hub doc about uh, the acoustics here. So we'll have to see if we can um, divine anything from there. Because honestly, testing acoustics for us is, the equipment you would need for that is pretty insane. We have to test it accurately. Um, and for the most part, the, uh, all the internal labs do very well. Yeah, I don't know if you were talking about it, but we uh, we spent a bunch of time in Dell's labs in uh, in Round Rock, and they've got sound booths set up just for the servers and all the workstations and everything else. And they um, their anechoic chambers is completely cornucopia chamber. That's a different thing entirely. Well, it's completely soundproof, so you set up your. Uh, Yes, so it would be this server with mics, an array all the way around, and then you can do things like idle, power up, um, you know, reboot, under load for storage, all sorts of other things as you uh, as you figure out what the impact is. So it's, uh, it's pretty impressive, and it's why we don't do much directly with things like uh, ac acoustics, because for us to create that lab would be such an expensive and heavy lift. And when we run, the, uh, when we run servers in here, of course, we don't hear them. The ones we hear the most, though, are the one you guys that have the small fans, the small super high RPM fans are actually substantially louder. So even though, oh, wiggle out, buddy. Even though these guys are huge, acoustically they put out much less volume than the 1U fans. They don't have to spin as fast to move as much air. Um, volume of air or volume of noise? Both. I do wonder how they, you know how they've got all the cooling profiles in iDRAC? I wonder if, do you think they both spin at the same speed? I guess they probably have to to be efficient, don't they? That I'm not sure. Because uh, I suppose when you go in there, if, if you see um, like one of eight fans or one pair of four pairs, that'd be the difference there. Right, because especially with the, with the way the GPUs are rigged in here, it's conceivable, well, I don't know that you'd ever want to slow these because the CPUs need a lot of air, but... Well, I mean, you only want to run them just as much as you need. Well, we, we should... Do you want to plug it in and boot it and get let people judge for themselves what the noise is? It's be loud as hell until it fully turns on with the covers off. Like it's no, we can put the, co we put the cover back on and... We got to get it started anyway. Where do you want this thing to live? Not there. No, not on the tray. Where shall we put it? It's probably going to lay on its side somewhere. I don't have a specific spot yet. But we're going to have to move the feet to put it in sideways. But it may not like well, why don't we just put it at the end of the rack? Could be that. I mean, but if you just want to get the noise level. El Uno, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thanks to the Rose Barnes. Barnes. Where'd you put the mouse for this guy? I didn't put it anywhere. 
Adam, thanks for sharing. Uh, we are not currently hiring, but we did just hire a uh, an intern, but he's he's local to Cincinnati. So we're gonna find a place to put this tower dude and get that guy. Well, if you don't put the panels on, I have power connection where you can plug it in. It's right here. Yeah, but we could put it back together. That's so what I'm saying, like you put it back together, you can live here. Only for a second, because I want to get that other power edge out, or uh, precision. But this is kind of cool too. Even when you look at the shroud, it's fully plasticized to uh, direct air over the CPU chunks and then to the other bits as it needs. And actually, something that we've just started seeing on Dell servers, we saw this when we were down in Texas last week, this OCP, it's got a little fin here, but uh, directing error over the OCP NICs. I think this is a 1025 card in this system, but um, yeah, it's kind of a, uh, a neat little extra air cooling thing that we're not used to seeing. Gosh, this thing is heavy. You could easily lose a fingertip if you do that wrong. Oh, I missed it. Van Express, thanks for the follow. How do we get rid of this? Mute this dude. Gamzy. Dude. Muted. There we go. Gamzy ate the mute for the duration of the live. Michael, don't be jealous. That's why we're trying to share. I don't know how to make you a mod, Nathan. I would do it. If I tap Nathan, hit the bubbles. Ooh, add moderator. Boom. And boom. Done. Nathan is modded. We're also streaming on, uh, on YouTube for our couple people that can't get access to TikTok at work. But the font on the comments is so small, I can't read them. I apologize to our one YouTube guy. Have you installed World Community Grid or folding on? Uh, okay, folding at home. Kevin, now that we're getting more of these GPU servers, we're getting more questions about the folding at home movement and donating system power for uh, for some of those other projects I've, I don't know I know I haven't personally played with any of those a, a very large amount of electricity well obviously it's a lot of electricity to keep the servers going but um, if we wanted to do a good thing and donate it for a couple hours overnight or something have you messed with those at all, or? I haven't messed, uh, the last time I did any of that was like still SETI project. Oh um, yeah, I remember SETI. Um, like you're just, you're saturating the, uh, all, all those devices for, it'd be, it'd be turning like a Bitcoin machine for a bit. I do wonder though, is there any performance evaluation or any, do you get any score or anything I wonder from those things? Uh, that I'm not sure. And I wonder how they fully utilize the GPUs and stuff. So something to, to uh, for us to explore. If you know a lot about that, you know, feel free to let us know. You can fire over an email info at, but uh, we're not against it. I don't really want to eat power because that's expensive for us, but um, uh, 
it is something that um, we'd be open to. We have all the stuff, so why not share it, I guess, is one, one argument. So what'd you do? You powered it up. I see green lights on the front. Yeah, it plugged in. It was doing the initial personalization and then has to uh, power. Most of the Intel, well, we see all the newer Intel and AMD platforms where you plug in and give it power, and it's probably like five minutes until it allows you to turn it on. All right, let me recast this. So we're getting a post. Jordan is full moderator too. Actually, I'm gonna start doing that in the future now. I didn't even know mod was a choice on this. But as soon as I see some of you regulars pop up, I'll just mod a couple people so you guys can uh, help us see good important posts and also flag the bad ones like that one dude i think that's the first guy we've ever had to ban or kick out of the uh out of the chat uh the matt john give you fur mark have you fur mark tested this rig is future mark not yet we just unboxed it yesterday I see the boss drives lighted up green. That's a good start. I don't know if there's an OS on that or not. All right, we got a question on the YouTube side. Yeah, this is a, uh, the YouTube feed's a duplicate essentially. We're running our main on uh, TikTok, but, but threw up this uh, YouTube um, just for people that can't access TikTok, especially at work. While you're here, though, on the YouTube, mash that thumbs up, bro. Let's go. I know there's only four likes, and there's 14 of you hey, in there. Hey, these are those YCPs. You can change the uh, core and clock speed on the fly and iDRAC. Yeah, they're the <coughs> 6448Y, I believe. Yeah. We've been running the object first uh, Ubi thing. We uh, first, we did it wrong. We set it all to immutable and we screwed ourselves for about 30 days. We haven't done a lot of performance testing yet, but. Uh, well, for the questions on boss, you only have the option of raid one. When they're not rated, you can do uh, you can use them as individual discrete drives, which allow you to have like one Linux, one Windows, whatever. All right, Jordan, I made you a mod on the YouTube one too. So if there's a question there, let me know. All right, Dell PM Gary likes the look of this room. Yeah, well, as well you should. It's 60% uh, Dell. And for the question of uh, per cards. Uh, we have, uh, I guess this has got uh, the one for the hard drives, the H755, uh, uh, and then so the that's H... The per, that's the Perk 11, I think? Yeah. Yeah, there's well, nothing. There's no that has to be for the hard drives. Yeah. So I think that's what it said. There's 11, and then that's the 12, the 965i. Is that the same one that was in the R760? I believe so. The battery, though, on this config is a little bit different, but okay. Do you know if we have an OS on this thing? Uh, there's nothing set up for disks yet. The boss is not configured either, so they my probably guess wiped is it probably before they sent yet. it. Actually. Okay, so there are four drives that should be showing up on that. Yeah. So Kevin's uh, going through the uh, the system setup. Nobody steal our service tag and our warranty, please. There we can see our four uh, 1.6 terabyte NVMe disks. Yeah, we're gonna have to jam in some more storage in that bad boy. Jordan's, or 
Well, it's got the 25 gig NIC. We can get some pretty decent shared storage to it. Uh, let's see, I'm coming back to some of the questions here. Sorry, guys. All right, Top Cat. We get this question all the time. The best way to start a server room, and I have the same opinion every time. I think for anyone starting in IT or wanting to start a home lab, my favorite is the small form factor PCs. So HP's got a ton, Dell's got a ton, Lenovo, and you can find these dudes on like Newegg Refurb, and they'll come with a Windows license, which if you don't want it, whatever, but they'll come with an SSD too. And last time we looked around, it's been a while. Those things are what, a buck thirty or something? Somewhere in there, but the Windows license is useful because Windows 8 or 10, like all those can be, as long as they'll carry through that license to the newer versions automatically. Just that hardware though, you can't take that license and go put it on something else. Correct. Right, so the license is tied to the hardware, which is fine, but seriously, 130, 140, 50 bucks to get it, even if it's a crappy SSD, on a system where you could throw in it, you could conceivably get an Intel NIC, take three of them and go make vSAN if you wanted for under 500 bucks. So if you want to learn or start, that's where I always like to start. Also the, um, here, I've got one sitting right here. I don't know what these go for these days. And we're actually gonna give one away here soon, so be on the watch oh, for that. But uh, these little dudes from HP are sick. This is the micro server, was it Gen 10 Plus? Yeah. Yeah. ProLiant micro server Gen 10 Plus. Uh, does this pop off? I can't remember. We haven't played with that in so long. Here, hold the base. Oh, you have to pop off, I think. Non-captive thumbscrews. Man, this thing's dusty. Yeah, because this dude, I think the back comes off, and then... Yeah, right. Ah, uh, that's that. right. We almost ripped it off the front the first time. There's a little bezel lock. Did you lock it or unlock it? I'm trying to remember how this... I don't want to tear it off. I know. We've been through this, but it was like three years ago. Put him down. Oh. It's coming. Ah, there, yeah, it, was, it just had to go up a little more. But. All right. Point being, someone take a look on uh, eBay or something. Tell me what this thing costs. We actually have two of them we're going to give away. They even put the, um, the hard drives are toolless. Sort of. Uh, they're trayless, sorry. And HP ships the screws in the body. So you put the four screws in there and they slide in. A uh, little bit of DRAM. You can boot off of... Um, there's a little USB header in the back if you want. And it's got a, uh, a PCIe card, which at one point this had... I don't know. A 10 gig NIC, maybe? It's not the best at everything, but for a starter system, seriously, someone do me a favor, look it up, tell me what a uh, ProLiant, um, what would I say, micro server, mini server? ProLiant micro server Gen 10 Plus. We did a bunch of projects around those and uh, they're really pretty slick. All right, Tomcat, that we were Topcat, that was a very long answer. We appreciate we appreciate all the likes, guys, and the shares. You know, keep some you would be surprised when you mash that like button, it helps us. And if you help us, we'll help you. More giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, be sure you're in our Discord or checking that out. That's where we do the bulk of our giveaways. Uh, it's linked to from the storageview.com website, top right corner. Look at that, Scott sharing the live like a bowels. All right, uh, Winston wants to know, do you see evolution in hard drives or is the future all flash arrays? That's a very difficult question to answer because it depends entirely, it depends entirely on your workload. Uh, this guy up here, if you can see it, this is a storage server from Supermicro. It's got 24 Kyoxia E1S SSDs inside. Hard drive array will never go that fast or be that small, but not all workloads need to go that fast or need to be that small. So we've got a hard drive server down there. 
We just did a paper uh, earlier in the year on the Seagate Core Vault 106 hard drive, uh, fancy JBOD, uh, JBOD Plus, JBOD Extreme. And now that Seagate's got 32, um, uh, 32 terabyte hammer drives, the, uh, the potential for three petabytes plus in whatever that was, four rack U? What was the core vault, four U? Four or five U, four U. Somewhere on there. Anyway, three petabytes plus in four or five U, that density is amazing. And for archive stuff, for backup, like the object first, for a couple other things, for that, for this, a couple hard drives, if you need a file server for an accounting office or an architect, it doesn't have to be fast. So the cost metrics on hard drives are still very favorable. That said, any storage system, any storage array that can make use of data deduplication or compression has massive advantages. So now that eight terabyte SSD in a, in a PowerMax, for instance, with four or five to one data compression is now a 40 terabyte drive effectively. Same thing with pure storage, same thing with anyone that can take advantage of data compression or deduplication. So the answer is both forever and always. I can't, if there's something to respond to on the YouTube, Jordan's um, administering, but I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> the one, the downside of getting the, the SE is the backup side phone. But it's a good question, Winston. I think he's handling it and just provided okay. a way to discuss. Uh, Alien Disco, just got my special screws for two and a half inch hard drives. Yeah, the, uh, the caddy screws are not always universal. What do you think of 15995WX versus 10i9? We don't do a lot of the, uh, Core versus AMD stuff. Yes, BG4. BGP. BGP for me. Get in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord yet, that's where we're doing our contests. We're working on something. I know we've teased it a lot on Discord around not this one, because you may not have our L4s, but one like this, or two, or maybe five or ten like this. So we're working on options to get these out there. The biggest problem in full transparency is that we're a little worried about giving away a really expensive server because it'll have tax implications for whoever wins it. And we want to make sure to, to get this to a good home with uh, someone that can use it and not have them be punished by the IRS. We don't want to repeat any game show incidents where you win a car and then have to write a check on the way out the door. Yeah, someone's asking about a uh, 2.5 inch or M.2 SATA SSDs are dead. Do you think companies will release new ones? Um, the future of client SATA, is that the question? Well, yeah, it's just, I think it'll be around for a bit. There's, you're not going to see much innovation there. It's probably some of the cheaper drives, but as you see, we've seen on like NVMe, NVMe is now cheaper than SAS, and that's where... Yeah, NVMe is definitely cheaper than SAS in the enterprise. Uh, what was it, Crucial with the MX or like the BX500 where they released a four terabyte like three yeah, years after the... They keep on getting really cheap. Uh, there's still platforms that still enjoy SAT. I mean, hell, you could find IDE-based flash if you really need it. So that you'll always kind of be around, but you're definitely not going to find the new innovation or capacity standards on well, it. Well, the problem is, so SAT are limited to 550 read, 500 write, something like that, right? With NVMe, even a QLC drive, you're going to get orders of magnitude faster than that. So if you can get a one terabyte NVMe drive now for $33, $35, I mean, there's, it's hard to argue in favor of SATA. Yeah, but you will still have platforms like the HP microserver that will only do SATA. So there's, there's no innovation though. There's no, yeah. there's no path for faster SATA. There will never be SATA four, five, six, seven, eight. We're stuck at SATA three forever and ever. Um, there is absolutely no path forward. So I wouldn't encourage anyone to invest heavily in new SATA, in SATA based systems. Uh, you'll be having disappointment for a long time. Why your servers sound like this? They're actually pretty quiet right now. Um, 
But I mean, a data center tends to get a little bit on the noisy side. How far did we go? Okay. Yeah, BG, get in the Discord, you turkey. Uh, the biggest pain point from a mechanical chassis, I'm trying to translate that from a user point of view. I would say the biggest pain point from any of our servers is, is what? We don't really have failures exactly. Like we haven't had a drive fail or a RAM module fail or. Well, it's hard to answer that question because are they wondering about like, I mean, you're gonna have a size footprint. You're gonna have to put it into a rack. You're gonna have to have power and cooling for it. Or is it like, what's the most common thing to fail or break or something like that? Yeah, SSDs are so good these days, they fail rarely. I would think even like with this platform, um, our biggest pain point is drive caddies, oddly enough. Because if we want to use these hard drive bays or the other four, I mean, we have Dell caddies everywhere. But uh, if you're a home labber, 3D printing drive caddies is, is viable. I wouldn't say many home labbers are going to be 3D printing drive caddies on Oh, there's that a dude brand. in Discord that just printed a bunch of a bunch of Dell caddies. Why well, no, but someone buying the platform new with warranty, like. Oh, no, 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 new. I'm just saying from a home lab perspective or yeah. you're maintaining legacy gear, it might be drive caddies is the biggest challenge. Uh, Mark is trying to trick me into a rant on the IRS, I think. What that sound, that sound is data center sounds. I don't know if you can get if you can get SATA for 16 a terabyte, but why not pay 33 and get a drive that's eight to 20 times faster? Okay, you are a turkey. Remy, maybe we can hire you to uh, to come secure our facility. We've got. Uh, very lax security at this point. Oh, so you turned this back on? You just wanted to make sure you booted well, yeah, and saw everything? Sitting in the bio so it never ramped down really on its fan, so. BG, you want to come visit? You're welcome. We keep talking about doing like a, some sort of influencer lab day. So what I really need is for a sponsor to come get involved to buy all you guys tickets and hotel rooms and steaks and beer and uh and make that happen but i'd love to have you come out get uh the bearded dude from utah and uh, the other bearded dude from texas and the networking guy from pittsburgh but it would be pretty sweet to do a uh, get the poets out here from cali if you can stomach the midwest for uh, with us for a little while but it'd be pretty baller to get together a a cabal of tech influencers uh, from TikTok and Instagram or whatever, and do do a, a day out here. Maybe do some cool builds or something. Uh, shall we get to this precision? Yeah. Well, that was another reason why I wanted to disconnect. I wanted so we can move the system. All right. The precision is next. I don't think you've had to move this yet, but it's really heavy. So while this thing is rackable and transportable, oh gosh, it's also really heavy. Don't drop it. It needs um, a carry handle on top of the chassis. It would be, pre be pretty sweet. Use the straps from the battery that weren't really connected? Yes. Here, let me move this. We're going to, do you want to scoot that over? We're going to refocus on the surgical table here. Oh, we finally got our YouTube likes equal to the participants. If you guys are watching on YouTube and you don't like it, you're going to make Kevin very sad. Akron? Why would you be in Akron? There's nothing in Akron. Uh, LA, we're not hosting any websites. This is all the lab we use for... Uh, the content we create on storageview.com. 
Well, if you need 3D prints, we've got a 3D printer that's idle 98% of the time, so if you send Kevin your file, he'll print them out for you. Just pay a small shipping and handling fee. And maybe we'll even include a storage view sloth pack. Cisco won't sponsor. Cisco, unfortunately, doesn't... Uh, I'm in their analyst program, but they don't ever want to do anything. Even when I was in, uh, in Raleigh, either earlier this year or uh, late last year, they had a new FlexPod announcement with NetApp, and I said, hey, I'm going to be down there. I'm going to be down there in your city where you have all this gear how about you give me a walkthrough and they're like yeah sure and then never followed up cisco is wildly difficult to work with you want to go oh another heavy one so this is a precision of some sort ah, tangled on the phone i got it. it is a precision and the name is on the top Ugh. Seventy-nine sixty. Seventy-nine sixty. Ooh, with an optical drive. Wow, we haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. That's pretty spicy. I feel bad using a impact on this thing, but I just need to turn it a little bit. Why don't you make an impact? On-prem NAS of choice, Isilon NetApp Cumulo. Man, we haven't seen Cumulo in forever. NetApp only wants to talk about cloud these days. They haven't sent us anything new on the hardware side in forever. Uh, but we do like ONTAP quite a bit. We still have a couple out, of them in the lab. Don't you, need to, you need two hands. But it feels like it's catching on the side. Oh, okay, let's connect her. Does that have fans built in that air shroud? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, it's all ducted, so it makes the air move in special ways. But those two fans draw air off the um, uh, DRAM. So it's, that yeah, thing? I don't suspect with four dims we're going to run into too much. And I don't know if that's an ADA A6000 or just... Wouldn't it say it? I don't know. NVIDIA is so freaking weird. All their gold cards look the same. What's on top of the uh, A6000? Uh, a networking card. All right. How about those little doors you were opening before? The what? Those two little doors in the front. Wires. Wires. And? and more wires. No wires. A little storage. Or give organization it a little, base. Give it a little spin. See, I kind of like how the fan bank is built into the middle, too on the back. Maybe we've seen it with uh, Lenovo's and others that will split the uh, airflow. Yeah, for anyone asking about the sloths, we do not yet have the merch store up, but if you're really jonesing for a sloth, we've sent out a, a couple. You can email info at, and I can get you the details on, uh, on all of that. Blaze, don't get Kevin started on pizza oven. He already has had one in here for battery testing before. I don't know if I ever finished the NAS question, but yes, we do like NetApp. Uh, Isilon, which is now PowerScale, another you know really good platform. You just, you're into the big bucks realm, of course. Uh, we're seeing some alternatives on file and object. Uh, there's uh, Quantum has a new one. We're going to go out and check that out in uh, Denver in a couple weeks, actually. So maybe we'll do a Denver meetup if anyone's in Denver. Uh, yeah, we get to Raleigh all the time for, uh, for Lenovo and NetApp. Nathan, no one's headquarters is in Akron. You're lying. We 
we like whichever rails we get. We're not we're not picky. Oh. Okay, so Jordan says that's an Ada A6000. Most, I think we may have only had one other Ada in, but it would be really nice if it said Ada without having to pull it out and look at the uh, look at the part numbers. It does have you know, the one little wiring harness here coming across the top for extra power, but the way they tuck it in there, it goes actually around the fan. Which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Jordan did confirm it's Ada, but it does reaffirm my frustration that they don't label them visually just a little bit better. Because now you've got two generations of product with the exact same visual ID on it's it. It's almost like buying a MacBook. It's sort of like that. Did Ooh, we got a question. What do you use for a UPS? We love the uh, Eaton gear. Uh, we have... Um, oh. Kind of partially in view, we have a off? new Eaton 9PX uh, lithium. Um, we have uh, their 5Ps, the 5PXs. We have on the large side their blade ups units, the three phase units. So a lot of, uh, we, we love a lot of Eaton hardware. There's pine needles. I think that must be from when FedEx put it under the. <laughs> uh, sometimes when we're not here, when the FedEx no, no, comes. Yeah. Something strange happens with our deliveries at points. No one's going to come steal our boxes. We got cameras everywhere. I'm not worried about that. Um, does that other side panel come off? I'm trying to figure out what storage they might have in this thing. Oh, these are the little. Ah, oh, yeah, that's sweet. I love those things. So those are the uh, little M.2 caddies. The M.2 NVMe drives that are on a little spring release, and then two more blanks in there. How did, does this thing pop Push out? Push in first. No, I was I was wondering how that. Uh, those guys are probably screwed in. Yeah. It's got this little connector, and then goes to the NVMe backplane from there. Yeah. Yeah, LA systems don't necessarily scream coming online. The, uh, Is there an up and down? The fans, but they'll uh, back off a little bit once it uh, gets going. It's not the most den dense use of space. It just makes them easily serviceable versus on the motherboard itself. But this is where I think workstations could really innovate and go, like if they use E1S in here, I mean, you could fit like a six or nine drive bank in there or even e3s you could go one two three four you could at least get four i don't know if a consumer intel uh, chipset's going to support that many pci lens well it's four per drive right yeah what are, well, what are these well those uh, mbat twos are uh, they'll use either uh, two or four right but for uh, e3s on the density side you're gonna be, it's gonna be a trade off of do you want it to enable uh, edge cards or storage? And a lot of these things, it's. I want both. They do storage, or storage to a certain point will be a bit less than, or funnel through a RAID card. Yeah, I, I kind of want both. Have you taken, are these so easy to open up? It's just an M.2 inside, it's. One screw? Um, yeah. That might be tonight's video, is actually, maybe we should do that. Is show uh, show how those work because I think that's a pretty neat solution. It may not be my favorite solution to the problem, but uh, the sloths may choose violence. Nana Felix, thanks for the follow. Oh, it's a few screws. I'd the last time we took it apart, it's M.2 that touches an adapter right here and the thermal pad. All right, well, we can, we don't have to do it right now, but let's, let's take one apart later today. Yeah. Adrian, thanks for the follow. Yeah, we uh, clearly haven't booted this yet. Our whole purpose for the live is just to, to take it apart. It will, it will make noise when we boot it. It's a Dell Precision. 79, 7960? 70, yes, let me break up my glasses. 7960. Yeah. 
7960. We don't have e-waste. We give away all of our excess gear on uh, our Discord, so we literally have no e-waste, unless something's dead dead, like a drive or an SSD, in which case Kevin prefers to shoot them for destruction. Discord is linked to storageview.com in the top right. All of our socials are listed there, so make sure to join the Discord. That's where we have lots of conversation. We were at, as of today, I think we we're at what, 903 or something like that? So um, we've got a pretty good following there. We're going to be doing a, a monster giveaway here with Dell on this uh, tower platform. We just haven't quite figured out all the logistics yet. 905. 905. So I think when we get to 1,000 that great things happen. I don't know. Something happens. Something might happen at Our at channel gets deleted. That's what happens. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's, that's really was our agenda today was to get the, the tower server booted and show that off a little bit more. We got this precision in. We've got it taken apart anyway, so that's step one. Uh, but we'll be doing some videos and some content on this while we get the review going. If you weren't here yesterday, we've got all sorts of other stuff happening. We've got a um, HP rack workstation um, review coming. We've got a couple smaller tower server reviews coming. We've got this massive Steam library project we're working on. So we got to get back to work, but uh, appreciate you joining the live today. And uh, as always, Hit the Discord, it's linked to in the top right corner of storageview.com, and then uh, feel free, if we can ever be a help, uh, email info at, and we'll, uh, we'll be pleased to, uh, to assist. But uh, again, thanks all guys, we'll be back, I don't know, maybe this afternoon. Anytime we're doing something cool, we'll try to remember to fire up the live.